So if you don't have a 3D TV, we've actually come, to, come up with a product uh, which allows you to experience the 3D. I'm not going to do an ad. Uh, it, it's a box, it's shipping, it's in Amazon and various other places, uh, not under our brand, but under other brands. Um, but that's, that's been very successful for us. And it's kind of tapping into this market where people have upgraded to a HD TV over the past couple of years, so they've shelled out the big money. Uh, but they want to, kind of want to get this 3D experience. So for $99 retail, they can tap into that 3D experience and bring it home and share it with their, their family and friends. And in fact, it's expected that 3D will excel on mobile compared to the other platforms. So when you think about it, a TV is something that you might replace every, I don't know, five years, six years, the replacement cycle is somewhere between six and 10 years on average. Whereas with a mobile phone, it's more like 12 to 18 months is the reason, the uh, replacement cycle. So. There's more churn on, on mobile platforms, so the likelihood is that you'll get 3D onto the mobile sooner. We're, we're seeing an evolution from that kind of headset uh, viewer uh, application to one where you're actually using a headset with capture capability as well, uh, both video and audio. Um, and at its simplest form, it's you know a device that has a, a camera on the front there. Um, and then it just sits on a headband that rests over your ears. Uh, an extension of this also has uh, a screen, which is it's a virtual screen, so it projects a, an image onto your eye from uh, where, from the back of the camera here. And you can just let's see it there. Um, and this is a device that we, we worked with uh, uh, MyView, which is a Foxconn company, uh, to, to bring to CES 